Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty. Welcome to another YouTube tutorial for making patterns in Procreate using the diamond method. I'm using my pattern maker canvas here. If you don't have the pattern maker canvas, you can still follow along. You'll just need to draw a diamond like this that goes all the way to the edges of the canvas. Just like that. That is on this layer here. We've got this sketch diamond and I'm gonna start drawing here on this empty layer above it so I can get my motifs in place before I start to move things around. So we're gonna be doing a strawberry pattern today. I've got this strawberry stamp brush, which you can download free from my freebie library. And that's gonna give us some gorgeous yummy strawberries. You can follow along with this tutorial and do what I do step by step and you'll get the same pattern as me at the end. If you want to know some of the why as well as the how, then I have a full tutorial for making patterns like this in Procreate, which explains a bit more in depth over how this method works. If you want more information on anything, check out that tutorial and I'll put a link for that at the end of this video. So let's get started. We're on our draw here first layer and I've got my strawberry stamp brush at 18% and I'm just gonna stamp a few of these around the canvas. Let's do one there. and then maybe put one there. And then we'll spread these around and see how they go. I think before I do that, I'm gonna change some of these around. So we'll make that one, let's turn snapping off for that. And let's move this one around. And this is why I don't initially draw on the layer with the diamond. It's so that I can, when I know I'm probably gonna have to move stuff around, I can have it on the layer below, the layer above, sorry. I think the rest of them look kind of random enough. Let's move this one a bit more maybe to there. So now I'm going to merge it down with my sketch diamond and I'm going to duplicate that layer, tap up here to transform, turn snapping and magnetics on and we're going to snap it down here to the bottom left until you see those orange lines there. And then we're going to do the same thing in all four corners. And it looks like this is lining up not too bad. It's a bit of a bigger gap there and there. We might need to move some things around. So I think on this, probably all that I would need to do, I think this one could just do with moving over to the left. So let's grab my select tool, make sure I'm on the right layer. Draw around that one, turn snapping off. And we can just move him to there. And I think that would probably be okay for that one. Let's delete our offset layer and then let's put all these around the edges with that one in its new position. Merge those together and then to get a more zoomed out look at this what we can do we can swipe down with three fingers do copy all then make sure you're on the top layer swipe down again and then tap paste and that's going to paste in a copy of everything we have on screen and then we can drag this node up there snap it to the middle and you'll see those four orange lines you can duplicate it over to the right I always grab the overlay texture layer that's why I lock it because I'd be merging it all the time otherwise duplicate that and drag it down and then you get to see this on a more spread out scale and I think that's looking pretty good like I can see this one maybe might look better coming down slightly because there's a bit more of a gap around it on this side than on that side so I might just move that one so that's on the the bottom left of the diamond so let's grab that one draw around it and it doesn't matter that we're taking some of the the edge of the diamond down with us as long as we're not as long as we're always leaving the corners of the diamond intact it doesn't matter if we erase or cut out some of the bits of the sides so let's just drag that one down there and then delete our outside group, duplicate this one, 
put our snapping back on. Transform these around. Merge those together and then we'll do that same copy all so that we can see how the difference between with and without moving that thing so let's let's drag this up to the middle there duplicate that and bring that down and then if we merge those two together I'm going to turn on the layer underneath and then you can see the before and after and I think now I've moved that one it's making this one here look a bit too far up that way so I think we could do with moving this one just a little bit further down that way and that is why I love this diamond method because you get to build out a whole pattern preview within Procreate work everything out on your sketch layer and then you can just illustrate your motifs afterwards knowing that everything's in the right place so let's go to our sketch layer and it's this one here turn off that and then just move that down slightly that way I think I might want to move this one a bit as well and then maybe that one up there so yeah spend as much time as you need moving your motifs around to get them perfectly spaced and then once you're happy with them in their final place do one last offset to make sure everything's looking okay and then we'll merge those two together and we'll do one more preview so we'll copy all and then we'll paste and drag this up to the middle duplicate it and bring it across pinch those together duplicate and bring that down and then we can put those on one layer and then if I just show the bottom the original one you can see the before and after there Turn this back on and it is a really subtle difference but you can see how this one is looking a bit better spaced out and the more patterns you make this having an eye for spacing things out nicely and you know the rotation of each thing to make it look nice and smooth and not have any sort of gutters or jarring gaps in it that's the thing that comes with just making patterns like this over and over again every day doing a bit of sketching like this and the more times you do it the more it will improve your eye and you'll be able to do this a lot quicker so let's hide those and now that our sketch is done I'm going to turn down the opacity on the outside layer and probably bring down the opacity on the top one a bit as well because we will eventually want to bring that on top let's just drag it on top of our pattern layer now and then I'm going to turn on the pattern layer bring the opacity down on this one so it's not too distracting so now we're going to be drawing on this first pattern layer and from my pattern maker canvas brush set I'm going to use the tracing crayon I'm eventually going to use this colour for the background but I also want to draw the motifs in that colour and then scribble over them with a different colour so I'll leave the background in this different colour to start with and we will with the tracing crayon go ahead and draw them in pink to start with because it's a bit easier to see So we'll change these to that creamy white colour after we've drawn them because otherwise it's going to be difficult to see them. So we're going to just loosely draw all these strawberry shapes in and I've got this one on 18% so we get the nice crispy crunchy texture on the edge of this tracing crayon. And then once those are all traced around we can use colour drop to fill all of those in. If I make the colour make the background colour a lot lighter maybe darker there we go if I make it darker you can see there is this edge around there so I'm gonna just trace around that 
So let's put the background colour back to that one and now let's just choose a random colour for the background first. Something a bit darker. Let's just go with that for now. And then we're going to alpha lock this layer and I'm going to fill them with this creamy white colour which we will eventually use for the background. So I'm going to tap on fill layer and then I'm going to add a layer above these. I'm going to use a clipping mask to clip it to that layer and then I'm going to use my fun sketcher brush with this pink colour for the strawberries and I'm just going to scribble in over these strawberries like that. I'm going to do them all in different directions. I'm not going to do them all going the same way because when you get these nice scribble marks it's nice to have them all going in different directions. See where we get those little lines there? It looks more authentic if they're all going in different directions. I really love using this messy colouring technique for filling in motifs and patterns. So there's all the strawberries filled in with that nice grungy texture. So now that those strawberries are in we can put our background colour to the colour we actually want to use which is this nice creamy white colour. So the next thing I'm going to do is put the back leaves in. Let's add a layer underneath these strawberries. So we go down to our pattern marker layer and then we get to add a layer above it. That's another reason why having this pattern layer is useful in these groups because you wouldn't be able to add a layer underneath. You'd have to add a layer above and then drag it to the bottom of the group each time. So on this one let's grab our darkest green colour and with our tracing crayon I am eventually going to turn these back to the white colour and then we'll scribble over them in green but we'll just draw them in in this colour for now. So just draw your leaves in underneath. You don't have to follow the shape of the the tracing layer leaves exactly. You can, you know, you can make some of them go a bit different angles if you want to mix things up a bit. So we don't have everyone looking exactly the same. Where this one's gone over the edge, I obviously don't want to draw over the edge because then I'd have to repeat it on the other side. So we'll make this going just up to the edge there. So that's all the back leaves done. Now we're going to alpha lock that layer, fill it with the creamy white colour and then we're going to grab that same colour again, the darkest green and then with our fun sketcher brush we'll just scribble over all of those so we get that same sketchy texture over the top. And you can see on these the variation in colour there, that's from the overlay textures which we have over the top. This is what you'd be seeing without those overlay textures and that's with them on and it gives them this nice varied texture. And then the next part that we want to add is the stalk coming out from behind also. So we'll add another layer here and we'll use the mid green for this one but, oh, with the tracing crayon. Maybe not that way, this way, there we go. And then in a second we'll fill these with white and then draw over it with this colour or scribble over it with this colour. And again down there making sure I don't go over the edge. So now we can alpha lock that layer and then we'll grab this creamy colour, fill that layer with it, add a layer above, clip it to the layer below and with this mid green colour We'll grab our fun sketcher and just fill all of those in. And then the last thing to do with the leaves is the lightest, which we'll do over the top of the strawberries. So we'll add a layer at the top of the group here and we'll grab this lightest green and we're just going to come in with our tracing crayon and we'll draw those leaves in there. And then we're going to alpha lock that layer, fill it with our base green colour and then add a layer above, use a clipping mask and we will just grab this lighter colour again with our fun sketcher and then just scribble over all of those to fill those colours in. Now 
and I'm already loving how these colours are looking together. I love this yellowy green with this bright pink. Um, all that we need to do now is just add our strawberry dots in. So we can do this with the cream colour first. So we'll grab our tracing crayon again and just fill in all these dots. Some of these dots, you don't have to trace over every one exactly. You can mix them up they're just there as a guide and we will eventually drag this layer down underneath those top leaves so don't worry about drawing over the top for now so once you have all of those and apologies if you can hear my dog moving around he's just woken up from his nap so if he hears scattering or scampering around that'll be him so i'm gonna bring these down underneath those top leaves and they've clipped themselves to that one because that was already clipped so we can unclip that one and i'm going to add a layer above this make it a clipping mask and then we're going to grab this yellow color and then with a fun sketcher and i can turn my sketch off now i can just scribble over all of these strawberries seeds So what I would like to do is have these clipped. I'm just I'm going to hide this layer a minute. What I would like to do is have the, the strawberry seeds clipped to the strawberry shapes. Like that. I'm just going to change the colour on this one so you can see what I've done. So I've changed the creamy base layer colour to this one. And yeah, I want the strawberry seeds clipped to the shape of the strawberry but if i do that with this scribbling layer on top it's gonna be clipping that scribbling layer to the shape of the strawberry instead of the strawberry seeds so the way we can get around that i'm just gonna undo that so we've got the base color the right color what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tap on this layer here i'm gonna tap select and then on this scribbled yellow layer I'm going to tap there and tap mask and that is going to hide all of the parts that aren't on that strawberry seed layer if that makes sense so that's how to clip it to the layer below but also have things above it that are clipped to different layers so that's how to get around that one let's hide our pattern marker we're going to build out the pattern now in procreate um, normally I would do this in Photoshop using smart objects so I keep all my layers intact but we can still do it in Procreate and, and we can still keep this here to go back to if we need to edit something afterwards. So you can duplicate this and then flatten it. So we can drag this up above our layer group. We can now hide those layers, we've still got those to go back, back to if we need to. Um, we can unalpha lock this and put a mark going off the edges in that corner and that corner and that's going to allow us to grab the whole canvas and then we can move that around. If we didn't have those marks in the corners, when you come to do this, you're not going to have the whole canvas selected and um, when you try and do something like snapping it like that, it's not going to work properly. So. That is why you need to have these marks in the corners. And then we can fill out the rest of the tile, these. And then these top four, we can merge together and erase those little marks in the middle and then we can also rub them out on this background layer as well and then you can merge those two layers together and then that is now your finished pattern tile so I'm going to turn the overlay textures back on now and you can see if we zoom in there although we've got a light background color you can see that nice grainy plaster texture coming through there on the background and the difference it makes to the strawberries they have a nice speckledy texture overlay on them. What I'm going to do now is 
build out a little quick preview here so you can see it in a more zoomed out scale similar to how we did with this. So we'll do copy all, go up to the top here, swipe down and tap paste and then we'll drag this up to halfway and just the same as we did before we can build out a little preview. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to see videos like this every week. You can find the Strawberry Stamp Brush and the Procreate palette over in my freebie library and you'll find a code there for 10% off the Pattern Maker canvas over in my Etsy shop too. Bye!